Hello all. In this video, we were discussing about the synthesis of metronidazole. So first of all, remember, metronidazole is an the antiprotozoal drug, and this is a drug of choice. And remember, the basic structure of metronidazole is it is under the classification of imidazole. So we know what is imidazole. A five-membered ring with nitrogens at one comma three position is known as the imidazole. So see, this is the imidazole. right and if you observe this uh, this is the imidazole category under the imidazole category now we are going to synthesize the metronidazole so remember in the name itself we can find the few hints how to remember the metronidazole in a easiest way okay so remember here metro means uh, remember m for methyl group that is nothing but ch3 so place the ch3 group here methyl and in between n and n place the ch3 and here e that is nothing but uh, remember the ethanol group so place the ethanol group here that is ch2 ch2 oh and remember as this is an metronidazole metro nothing but nitro okay so place the nitro here and o2 okay so this is the basic structure of the metronidazole and now we are going to synthesize the metronidazole okay so first of all the metronidazole is synthesized from the glyoxal this is known as the glyoxal so cho cho which is connected with single bond that is nothing but the glyoxal and this is reacting with 2nh3 and with 2nh3 it is also reacting with the ch3 cho okay and now it is undergoing the cyclization so remember it is undergoing the cyclization and it's going to form the basic structure that is the imidazole structure so see here okay and with the methane group here so this is nothing but the the numbering starts from here so 2 methyl imidazole okay and now this structure when it undergoing the nitration nothing but hno3 nitration is nothing but in the presence of hno3 h2so4 why because in if you observe the metronidazole it consists of the nitro group so in order to get the nitro group we need to do the nitration okay so the nitration here we are doing then we were getting so same the basic structure here same methyl group and here h and here and o2 and this is the basic structure now this compound is undergoing so if you don't know the name of the any compound not from the initiation to the final in between the compounds just write them as the intermediate okay so write them as the intermediate compound and now this is reacting with naoh and also the the structure immediately remember this because you need to keep the structure here ch2 ch2 oh so directly write the ch2 ch2 oh and in order to place this compound uh, this structure here we need to have any eliminating group that is nothing but the chlorine which is the possible one so try to keep this now the structure is going to form as ch3 no2 and here ch2 ch2 and oh so here again this is nothing but the metronidazole okay so this is the three step process 1 2 and 3 we were doing the cyclization in the first process and the nitration in the second process and the next addition of the this group here and this leads to the formation of the metronidazole so remember the initiation compounds glyoxal and amine 2nh3 and the other one is ch3 cho cyclization 
it produces this compound and under nitration it produces this and by the in the presence of reaction of NaOH it produces the metronidazole okay so this is the synthesis and remember what is the mechanism of action of metronidazole is it's going to inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis uh, by disrupting the DNA of the cells okay so if we stop they inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis therefore the DNA formation will also be inhibited uh, and this is mostly only for the anaerobic organisms remember this is for anaerobic organisms so that's why this is not going to show any activity or effect in our body okay thank you